that was supposed to come out like last week, but I guess they got them switched up. Maybe <laughs> they put the demo first and the teaser later. Anywho, testimony. Let's go. A perfume can tell you a lot about the person wearing. Hey yo. Mint and fruity aromas express a yearning for youthful vigor, while notes of cedar and amber show a desire to appear mature. And though a fragrance fades with dilution, evaporation, and aging, so long as you filter so out good. the impurities to remove interference, the perfume will still tell its story. <laughs> the top note is citrus and tea leaves, with neroli and roses coming through in the middle note, and a grounded woody base note. <laughs> a very woody. heavy fragrance with great longevity. Just the way she said it. On the expensive side. Rest in peace. Perfume can tell you a lot, even when the wearer can no longer speak for themselves. Well, that took a turn. <laughs> We'd arranged to go camping up on the summit, but when I got up there, I couldn't find her. She must have slept and fallen. Oh no, no. <laughs> That's her friend's statement. What do you make of it? It's unusual to meet at the summit, especially for someone who's never been mountain climbing before. Right. The claim that she fell is a lie. Oh? Why so sure? I was gonna say. <sighs> there was no sweat among the impurities present, and no <laughs> lady in their right mind would apply such a heavy fragrance before a climb. No lady in their right mind would apply such a heavy fragrance before a climb. I'll be honest, yeah, the second she said, we were going to go camping on the summit, and then all of a sudden she tripped and fell. Or she, she she fell. She fell over. It was like, yeah. She murdered her. To appear mature. I say, I did not expect, uh, did not expect that <laughs> at the end there. I was thinking something about, you know, the way she makes the perfumes and whatnot. Uh, yeah, that was unexpected. Not expected. I do like the way the teasers are animated, though. Like the way they look, they always look so crisp. Yeah, I don't know. I just cannot get over Emily's design. I just like the short hair and the glasses. And I think the voice is different. Like I, I don't, you could like, if you didn't really know much about Emily, you'd think like she'd be kind of like Yalon, if you know what I mean. But no. And like I said before, I think she's like one of the. The other like model types, not like uh, the taller ones. But yeah, but anywho, uh, I will say it threw me off guard. The teaser did not think that, did not think there was gonna be a dead body in it. But looking forward to it. I'll be going for her uh, next week. I'll be live on stream uh, over here and on Twitch on Wednesday because at Tuesday the banner goes live at a bad time for me. I'll be walking out of the door when the banner goes live. So. Yeah, we'll be back on Tuesday. We'll do our polls and we'll do a whole lot of tests and stuff like that because, quite frankly, there's not really much to do until Natlin comes out for Genshin. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you're going to be going for Emily or not. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.